Good, great. Good to see you, my man. Of time you've spent around these guys, what's your initial impressions of the players, coaching staff? Yeah, uh, they're really professional. Uh, you know, everybody really professional, handles their business, um, you know, does things the right way, cares about each other, which is uh, which is something I felt like I was really lucky to get at Furman, but I feel even luckier to get it at the NBA level. You know, a group of guys who are professional and really care about each other, about each other. I feel like that definitely doesn't happen everywhere. Have you gotten to talk to Lindsay much? Of course. What are your What are your thoughts there? Super excited to be able to play for her. Uh, I think what she's doing, you know, for women in basketball is huge. Uh, you know, her and Angelie, I think, is great for for the game of basketball. Um, you know, I grew up around women's basketball, so uh, I think it's I think it's super exciting. You know, to be able to play for a women's head coach. I do think it's going to be a little bit of adjustment. But I'm excited. I'm excited for it for sure. I had the opportunity to talk with Coach Richie a little bit uh, this offseason. One of the things he shared was that you shared with him that De'Aaron and others texted you pretty quickly after you were you were drafted to the team. Uh, having them make that effort to reach out to you and to welcome you and bring you in, what did that mean for, for you personally? Well, that meant a lot, you know, because uh, I feel like a lot of places people where rookies go and it's like bottom of the total pole guys. You know, they're treated as such. Me and Colby here are bottom of the totem pole and packing this and everyone here, but you know, we're not treated like uh, we're not treated like we need, you know, we need you know, we've got it, guys are you know, willing to talk to us, answer our questions. We're not just being thrown into a fire. So. 
Yeah, one more time. 